This is for you. We love you. Ah, thank you. Mikey Sherrill got flowers and hugs from Essex County Executive Joe DiVincenzo today and helped lay a wreath to honor veterans in her first event as the Congresswoman-elect from New Jersey's 11th Congressional District. But even though an anti-Trump backlash helped propel her to victory, Sherrill's from a district the president won by a point in 2016. She's not expecting pressure to tangle with Trump. Not from people here in the 11th. Um, I think people here, the expectation is we get some work done and Congress gets back to work and we see some real results here. Because right now New Jersey has been a little bit stuck with this tax plan and, and the cost, constantly rising cost of health care and the lack of infrastructure funding. For her to win a Republican district the way she did was pretty amazing. I've been involved in politics for a long time. I haven't seen that in Essex County. But that means that she's going to have to walk a different path when she gets down there. Listen, she's going to do what she has to do. One of more than 100 women candidates elected to Congress across the nation last night, Charles buoyed by a movement born out of the Women's March. You know, it's kind of mixed because part of me feels like, why did it take so long? But um, but I'm thrilled to see, to see the kind of numbers, and hopefully we can continue to build on that. Cheryl says she still won't support Nancy Pelosi as Speaker. Neither will another moderate Democrat who won last night, Jeff Van Drew, who flipped the predominantly Republican 2nd District by six points. But 7th CD Victor Tom Malinowski's still open to backing Pelosi and says he has a mandate to check Trump. We're going to make sure, for example, that uh, there is no interference from the White House uh, with the Justice Department, the FBI, with the Mueller investigation. We want to make sure that that takes its course, that uh, the law of the land uh, on health care and environmental protection, other important issues, is uh, followed, is enforced. Congressman Donald Payne warned, expect a House controlled by Democrats to push back. We're not going to overreach, but we're going to do our job, the job that the Republican Party hasn't done uh, in checking the uh, executive branch. Oh, it will be up to whoever is uh, the Speaker of the House uh, to make sure that uh, they can cobble together a, a compromise that will bring all these different people to the table. So I think New Jersey is a perfect microcosm of the kinds of things that are going to happen among Democrats. Cheryl Malinowski and Van Drew may all be Democrats, but they represent different constituencies, and they'll be focusing on different goals as they head to the next Congress. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.